Seeing San Francisco for the first time was like seeing Oz. It was a beautiful, crisp day. It was blue sky. And we were both excited, bopping up and down, and it was great. It felt like the land opportunity. I love seeing that. <laughs> I just watched it again this morning. I thought, the land of opportunity, I felt that same way when I first came to San Francisco. It's hard to believe it has been 25 years since the real world house came into our living rooms. It was groundbreaking, really, for so many reasons. And two of the biggest reasons are sitting right next to me. Original cast members from San Francisco and still a couple all these years <laughs> later. <laughs> Pam and Judd, it is such an honor to meet you guys. Well, thank you, thanks for having us. Yes, and you're thanks. still in San Francisco all these years later too. We never yeah. left. Yes. We never left. Yeah. So the amazing thing about your season, and I, I was just confessing to these guys that I was a huge real world geek mm -hmm. for so many years, was that an actual doctor was on the show. <laughs> Pam. Yeah. I was a medical student yeah. at the time, so I was still in training. And you were at UCSF. Yes. Right? Yes. And then you still are at UCSF. I still am, yes. We and now you're about. teaching. Yes, yeah. So I've all the way through medical school, residency training. I joined the faculty in 2002, and I still see patients there and teach. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to take you back 25 years. It's 1994. Yeah. It's February, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that right? We actually moved in on February 12th, my birthday. On your birthday. So my birthday is the day we met. It was the day we started the show, so it, it actually, honestly, it holds more weight than our wedding anniversary. <laughs> it should. <laughs> yeah, we often forget our wedding anniversary, but we remember my birthday and, like, the day we met, so, yeah. Do you remember the moment you met? Yeah, because yeah. we've seen it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's on TV. Yeah, the producers actually gave us the footage of the moment we met because they record everything. Right. So for our wedding, I think, as a gift, they gave yeah. us that actual footage. So who was flirty first? Oh, probably me. But at the same time, we're doing the show, right. and it's it's madness. Like you're just so kind of nervous and amped up. Um, it takes like two weeks even to get used to the cameras. Yeah. And uh, and by then I was you know I was crazy about Pam. Yeah. Um, I was crazy going nuts for Pam by the time we had moved out and she had no idea. Yeah. Well, I, was you. <laughs> I was oblivious. You were oblivious. I was oblivious. And but then at what point did you decide? Oh, you know, I think I might like Judd. You know, I mean, I always like Judd, yeah. right? Who doesn't like Judd? Right. Who doesn't like, of yeah. course, who doesn't like Maybe Judd? the most likable <laughs> person on any <laughs> railroad season ever. Um, Not but, true, but yeah. thank you. I, 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 I will say it. <laughs> okay. nice. Fair enough, I'll take it. <laughs> um, but really, it was after we moved out of the house, um, and we spent some time together because our roommate, Pedro, um, got sick. Yes. And so we spent a lot of time around that time, and I think, for me, that's more when it became apparent. I mean, I could get emotional thinking about Pedro right now. So Pedro Zamora was on the cast of San Francisco. So he uh, came into the house, was very open from the very beginning that he was HIV positive. And he would actually die, what, just hours after the final episode of the San Francisco season aired. Yeah. And that was in Miami, right? The, yeah. And you, I know you two went to go see him. Yeah, we pretty much moved down there. Uh, we, the, the show ended in June. Um, Pedro was hospitalized in August. And he passed away that November. Um, so not long after he got sick, Pam and I pretty much just moved to Miami to be with him and his family. Um, it, was, it, was, it was fast. It was terrible. I mean, it's one of the things we talk about in doing the show. It was the most amazing and terrible experience of our lives. Mm -hmm. And so he was so young, but, and, and through you two and, and remembering him and talking about him, has been able to change so many people's lives, too. I mean, certainly as a young person watching the show, that was the first person I'd ever seen who said that they were HIV positive. And I thought, wow, look at this guy. And, and also just as a, as a gay man, I mean, I, I was a young gay boy who didn't tell anyone at that point, right. but seeing this out gay man say this, and then also have a commitment ceremony with his partner, Sean, on the show, that moved me incredibly. And it has stuck with, with me for so many years after that. And I'm sure you guys hear that all the time. Yeah, actually we do, because yeah. I think it's the thing that we're really proud of about the show, and it's amazing to me that people will remember something like that, but a really compelling story or somebody that moves you, even 25 years later, like still has an impression, and I think that certainly Pedro's um, portrayal of people living with HIV and, and his relationship with Sean were both groundbreaking and things that we're really proud of today. We do hear from people who said, I was 10 years old, like living in Ohio, mm -hmm. and I thought I was completely alone in the world. And then I saw Pedro and Sean. 
on the real world, and yeah. you know, and that he had friends, and he was fine. Yeah. You know, it meant and that a he lot. had straight friends too. Yeah. You know, yeah. That supported him. Yeah, we always feel like we get so much credit for just being <laughs> like, you know, human, nice people. That's true. Um, well, he was great, though. That's the whole thing. It's like, you know, it wasn't like he was a big jerk. He was a wonderful, beautiful person. He was our friend. And um, at some point, hopefully, you know, in the years to come, it'll seem silly to be lauded for just being friends with someone who was just so great. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it, it, people still have that reaction. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, it definitely touched my heart watching that show, watching you guys, watch Pedro. Um, all these years later, we have to go, but are you happy you did the show? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we found each other. You wouldn't other. have met otherwise. <laughs> we wouldn't have met otherwise. We have two children. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, a life together. And, uh, you know, I shudder to think sometimes if I didn't apply for the show or they didn't pick me to be, you know, the amiable white guy that season. You know, <laughs> where would I be? <laughs> I love you guys as much as I loved you from the first time I saw the <laughs> open to the show. You're and so it's so sweet. nice to meet you in person. I'm glad that you're in San Francisco spreading your good and doing your, your amiable white boy things. Thank you. <laughs> All these years later. I do what I can. And saving lives Thank and you. teaching doctors <laughs> in the future.